What's going on guys? Seth here doing a TLG Reacts for the Steam Deck. I am finally on deck. And I have received my Steam Deck after waiting so long for my pre-order. I finally was able to lock it in and we're gonna do a quick unboxing today. Now I'm not gonna go over the specs. There's a million videos out there already and a bunch of unboxing videos already as well. So I'm just gonna give you my opinion on how it feels the quality, how premium it feels, what comes with it, my thoughts on it. Now there's three tiers, I got the third tier, which is uh, $649, it's like 705 after tax, fucking Jesus. Uh, 512 gigabytes SSD, fastest storage, premium anti-glare etched glass, exclusive carrying case, which I believe they all come with. Uh, let's see, exclusive Steam community profile bundle, I'm not sure what that is, exclusive virtual keyboard theme. So that's pretty cool. And I have a multi-camera set up here, so hopefully everything looks good on this end. And uh, yeah, let's just jump into this because I can't wait to uh, get my hands on this thing. So it comes in a box, a pretty unceremonious box. As you can see, I have ripped the information off of it. So none of you can do any shady shit with that information. The box is a box. And so let's bust into it and see what's inside it. Opening it up, we have a bunch of stuff in a lot of languages. I read one thing in English, it says on the subway. So that's cool. Another one says I'm auto. As you can see, it has all that stuff in there and it comes with a big piece of paper that has some kind of instructions on it that we will read right now. This is what it looks like. And on the other side, we got um, some kind of uh, diagram of the uh, Steam Deck itself. It says attention, plug in, power on. So I think it's telling me to plug it in and power on uh, before I do anything. Um, so that's good to know. Also shows where the SD card would go, but we can figure that out ourselves once we dive into this. Inside this, we have uh, the carrying case, which I assume the Steam Deck is inside, otherwise I'm gonna be very angry. And uh, some kind of box that probably has the wires to the Steam Deck. So let's go with the boring part first and open up the wire box, which is this guy right here, it says Valve. So weird to see products with a Valve on it like that outside of a video game. And uh, yeah, it says contents, power, contents, power adapter. And uh, yeah, that's, that's not a big surprise there. All right, so inside we got a power adapter and it's a hefty boy, it's a big guy, which is good. USB-C, which is expected, we get that fast charge. And yeah, pretty cool, I like to see it. And uh, yeah, we also got an instruction manual of some sort. So yeah, we'll look over that if we need to, but I'm the kind of guy who will just look up a YouTube video if I have any questions. So we're living in 2022, the future, and uh, it's, it's easy to do that. I'm not gonna figure this box out. Now the piece de resistance, which is the Steam Deck, and we'll go over the case as well because I'm very curious about the quality of it. I think it's awesome that they've included a carrying case that's like unheard of. I know everybody says that but like it's just legit. If we all say it, it's good because then other people hear that and go maybe we should do that. Yeah, you fucking should. We just spent a, sh a shitload of money on your fucking product. The least you can do is give us a carrying case to protect it. Thank you Valve. All right, so on the outside it says your games are going places. Check that out. We're going places, baby. I'm just gonna rip this fucker open. Anyone who knows me, I'm not very, uh, I'm not very delicate opening things. Just rip them open. I'm an impatient dude, and I want what I want now. Uh, yeah, so paper sleeve, we're gonna take that bitch off. You're going places, so is this fucking paper, bye. All right, so, um, it's actually a really nice feeling carrying case. It's not the most premium out there, but it's, it's, better than uh, what I expected for sure. It's uh, very firm, doesn't uh, press in very easily, and uh, it's got a cool little symbol on it, um, and some rubber grippies on the zipper, which is appreciated, and some kind of locked mechanism I'm gonna have to cut off. That's fucking cool, I uh, was not expecting that. Uh, a carrying handle, which is nice, it seems um, robust, not quite a seat belt, but uh, getting close to that kind of material. And then this back little pouch area that has a little baggie. I assume that's for the, um, the power adapter. And a little interesting nook that's in there. You can hide all sorts of weird shit in there if you wanted to. Get the fuck off there. 
All right, boys, we're on deck. Let's do this shit. We're gonna open this up and see the inside, the most exciting part. Holy shit. It's so much cooler looking in person. As you can see, it's a very uh, snug fit for the Steam Deck, and it's a very clean and shiny Steam Deck that I'm gonna regret touching, but I have to, to use it. So we're gonna do it. It's got a nice little flappy here to pull it out. And I can already tell it's pretty weighty, but not too heavy. So let's, uh, let's touch the thing for the first time. And holy shit, that feels awesome. It's a, it's a PC, it's so weird. Uh, also comes with a microfiber uh, cloth, which I have a million of those because I have a bunch of cameras and you know, every everything you get, a lens, camera, whatever, they all come with those. So I got too many of these, but it's always nice to have them. And yeah, the inside uh, doesn't have much going on after that. So we're gonna get the fuck out of here. I appreciate the case, Valve. Okay, so um, first impressions, and just for a reference uh, next to me, it's, it's pretty big. It's like two of my beards in length. Um, it's light. It's, it's got a little bit of weight to it, but it's not, it's not, it's not heavy enough to like become like a burden. Um, it doesn't feel like it's, you know, over time going to bother me. Um, yeah. So let's check this out. We got the sticks. They feel premium. They got good resistance, which I appreciate. Um, they feel about around the same quality as a switch, if not maybe a little better, which is nice. Good rubbery, um, grippy texture to the sticks themselves. D-pad. D-pad feels good. It feels, um, it's got some stiffness to it. A little bit of, little, little bit of squish, but it feels responsive, which is really nice. Buttons also feel good. They could be a little better. But, uh, you know, for them being up in a fucking corner like this, it, uh, you know, it, it works. It's fine. Um, we got the touch pads, which feel really good. They feel about what you'd expect uh, when it comes to that. And then we got these buttons here. Let's check out the triggers and the bumpers. Triggers feel good. Um, you know, they're not as good as like uh, a controller. We have that um, ability to pull the trigger further or lesser. It's pretty just like click and and that's about it, but they, they feel good. They, uh, they click in really good, good response. Bumpers are also good, clicky, which I like. Um, very cool. I can't believe this is a PC that I'm holding. Um, yeah, it looks like we got a uh, headphone jack and uh, volume on the left side on the top um, for reference on this screen as well. Um, right here is the volume and the uh, Microphone jack, <laughs> that's what it's called. Then we got the USB-C right here. Looks like the power button right there. And then we got back paddles, baby. That's what I like to fucking see. It's got four of them, as you can see on the back here. And they're, they're clicky. They're clicky, they feel good. Um, I think you gotta press pretty good to get them to click. So um, not that I've ever had an issue with back paddles on a controller and accidentally hitting them, but I know a lot of people worry about that. I don't think you'll have to worry about that with this. It's really uh, placed in a good spot, but also the positioning, the curvature of the place where you're holding it um, makes it so I don't feel like you're gonna accidentally be hitting those. And you gotta put some pressure on them. Not like a shitload, but like you gotta, you, you have to decide to press these buttons, which I really like. Um, it's very comfortable in the hand. It's very comfortable in the hand, which is kind of crazy. The curve right here really fits in your palm very well. I remember looking at it, I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm sure it'll be kind of comfortable, but it's kind of huge. I don't know how comfortable it could be, but it's super comfortable. And the grip on the back fits my hands perfectly, which I'm very happy about. Um, you know, everybody else's hands, fucking figure it out yourself. But for me, it feels great. So if you got hands like me, it's, uh, it's gonna feel really good. Um, yeah, it looks like we have some kind of vent uh, up here, which makes sense for, you know, heat and on the back as well, um, which is one thing I was worried about heat uh, when it comes to how small this thing is, but I haven't heard anything about that in any of the videos I've watched. So I don't think I have to worry about that. 
And yeah, speakers on the front, two of them. So hopefully the sound sounds pretty good. From reports I've heard, it's pretty decent, which is nice to hear. And then we have an SD port right here, which you can put games on and play them directly. I hear that the loading is slightly slower than the SSD, but um, not that much slower, completely playable. So that's pretty cool. I kind of want to maybe throw some like indie games on that, maybe a, a better looking game we'll keep on the SSD to make sure it's running as fast as possible. Um, but overall, this is very fucking cool. Um, and I can't wait to boot it up and check it out, but that will be a different video when I give you guys my impressions of the experience of the Steam Deck. But that is the Steam Deck uh, as a whole, unboxed. And uh, as of right now, price point, um, what came with it, the Steam Deck feels premium, which I'm happy about. The form factor is awesome, and I'm just blown away this exists. Uh, it comes with a carrying case, and it is a uh, dense carrying case that will protect this. You could probably drop this, don't do that, but you could probably drop it, and it'd be fine. That's how dense that thing is, so very cool. And everybody start doing that. If you're, if you're selling anything that's portable like this, give it a fucking carrying case. And um, yeah, you don't need much else. You just need to be able to power it. I got that, so uh, being able to play uh, PC games uh, on the go, or if I'm fucking feeling uh, lazy uh, in bed, uh, is gonna be awesome, hopefully, as long as uh, you know this thing isn't bricked on arrival. I'd be very upset if I start this thing up and it's broken, but uh, that, that's, that'd be a whole other thing, so. Um, anyway, yeah, that is the Steam Deck, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments what do you guys think about the Steam Deck. Have you picked up yours? Are you still in queue waiting for yours? Are you planning on buying it after all the reservations are over, the pre-orders are done? And uh, which model did you buy or wanna buy? Are you not interested in the Steam Deck? Uh, maybe it seems like a gimmick to you. And if you have any questions for me, there's a bunch of people answering these questions already, but you know, if you're a TLG community member and you wanna ask me a question, uh, I'm happy to answer that um, in the comments below, let me know. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to get this thing uh, booted up, and I'm going to try it out, and I'll make a video later about what I think of it. Until then, have a good one, guys, and take it easy.